Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. Last time we went to Lake Clarity, I believe, and we fought Mars and defeated her. And Professor Rowan told us to check up on Barry. So that's what we're gonna do. So to do that, as I showed you last time, we went... Uh, we have to go towards... Snowpoint City because that's where Lake Acuity is. So now that we have strength, we can explore a couple new areas. Also, I um, put Rexor and Celestia in the box so that I could get Bidoof and Starly out of the box. So because I need we need uh, I need the normal HM slave, but I also need Defog. So I had to put Celestia in the box because it's the highest level and Rexor because. Um, next, the, the area after Mount, Cor Mount Coronet isn't really suited to Rex World because it'll get, you'll see why, what I mean. So, you can either go enter this particular area from Celestic Town or, or Eterna City, just like I did. Um, you can go both ways, so it doesn't matter because you'll enter. One thing I really like about um, Platinum is that uh, is Mount Coronet. It's a really unique place, and because it connects like four cities together, plus it's like smack dab in the middle of Sinnoh, and you know it's really really huge. I mean, the only other huge place I can think of like this huge. I mean, not this huge, but as huge as um mount coronet is probably mount silver from heart gold soul silver or you know gold silver and crystal uh this is why we need defog because this this whole floor is fully foggy also it's, it's this place is unique because the except for the two evolutions the two new evolutions in fourth gen are other than those two this is the only other, like, Mount Coronet is the only place you can evolve. There are st certain Pokemon that evolve due to, you know, being at a certain spot. Like, Magneton and Nosepass, if they're leveled up inside Mount Coronet, they evolve into Magnet Zone. And Probopass, accordingly. Which is pretty cool. I mean, they both depend, the both their evolutions, because they're both magnetic Pokemon, both their evolutions, because they're some kind of weird magnetic energy in Mount Coronet, I guess. That's that's what they say anyway. One another another thing that's unique about this place, you see the body of water on our right right now. Uh, this is the only place in Sinnoh where you can catch a Feebas. Feebas, as you know, is a really, really rare Pokemon and it evolves into the really um, beautiful looking Pokemon called Milotic. Uh, people really want the Milotic, but as you know, first, there's two things about Feebas. First of all, it's really rare and really hard to find. And second of all, that it is really hard to raise and evolve into Milotic in the first place. Here you can grab a Light Clay. Uh, the use for a Light Clay is if a Pokemon is holding it and uses the move, um, what is it, uh, Reflect and Light Screen. Uh, the, the usually they only last for five turns, but they last for I believe eight or seven. Uh, two out of uh, eight or seven that many turns, it just lasts more. As I was saying, uh, in Hoenn, if you remember, for f to catch a Feebas, the route next to the Weather Institute, the route before Four Tree City, that's uh, in the little area of water. You can there are only four tiles of water where you can find Feebas. And it's really difficult to find because out of the whole area of water, there's only four tiles, and you have to fish every fish in every tile to find out um, where they actually are. And it was better in Hoenn because the tiles changed only when you change the trendy saying in Duford City. If you remember the trendy saying uh, in the second gym town, but here in this little body of water down there, there are four random tiles, and they change every day. So it's much, much harder. But if you really want to catch a Feebas, you know how now. And even though you you may find... If you even find the actual tile, there's no guarantee that you the Feebas will be in that tile. Here's our candy, by the way. There's no guarantee there will be Feeb... You only catch Feebas because... 
Um, what was I because you could catch any of the other wild Pokemon like Gyarados or Barboach that exist in that other body of water except Phoebus. Here you can grab a Never Melt Ice, it just raises power of ice type moves. This place is very special, just like that little cave in Iron Island, but that will come into use later on, so... Alright, so this is a little snowy area. Kind of, you know, it has two little roots, one, um, like, one root at the top and one at the bottom. So, one root at the top, one root at the bottom. To fully explore this place, you need HM Rock Climb, which we will get soon. So pretty much we will have to come back and then you know re-explore the area. There are some trainers here and as always I'll be cutting them out because you know you I don't want you guys to just sit here and just watch the battles. Okay, so I'm gonna cut her out. So she had a gold duck, pseudo wudo, and rapid ash. Look out for that rapid ashes blue list because it'll burn you, it burned Milanko. Eh, I hate getting burned. So see those trainers, you can only fight them when you have rock climb. Which is right there. Is there an item here? Nope. Okay, so two more trainers. This guy, this person, and there's another person next to the entrance. I'll fight her too. Alright, so she just has a Tropius. It's a flying grass type. It's pretty unique. Well, it was unique until this gen anyway. I think we missed an item around here somewhere. Yeah, there's an item on the right hand side. If you come down here, here's a PP up. So, I don't have to explain to you again. If I do, then you haven't been paying attention to the LP. Okay, so this guy. Alright, so it's really important that you fight this guy because he has a Ambipalm, which is the new evolution of Apalm that was introduced that was introduced in this generation. So and it also has a Porygon too, which is really rare to see. There's the little rock climb area that you can climb. Uh, there's a trainer here, but I'm gonna skip that trainer because I really don't feel like battling. Because the oncoming route is already really uh, gonna be annoying. So if you talk to this person, she talks about thick fat, that's um, that's the ability, usually used to be the original ability of Snorlax, uh, it reduces um, power of ice type and fire type moves. Uh, here you can have, take some rest so that your Pokemon can be healed, which is really convenient. So it's just a little rest stop. There's a trainer there. I'm gonna fight him. All right. So this um, this guy had a Mr. Mime, Scyther, and Dusclops. Uh, Zeus leveled up, so I'm gonna. I don't want it to go overboard, so I'm just gonna switch to Milenko. And the reason I'm not using Blaze is because Blaze is gonna be really useful in the next gym battle. Okay, so this route. Route 217, it, this place is a full blizzard, and if you see Maylene's there, and she's like, oh, she's going there too, and she can use fly, but she wants to walk. So, yeah, she, she's being a hard ass. The thing about this route is there's, uh, it's, uh, there's some, oh, there's another trainer, sorry. Didn't notice him, but it's a required trainer. Okay. So that guy had an Electabuzz and a Magmar. Okay, the thing about this route is this is a really big route. And the whole area is full under Blizzard, and there are some areas that you, it's really hard to walk because there's just so much snow. Uh, but the thing is that there are a lot of items in this area that are hi hidden, and that I'm not gonna show you uh, me getting the items because it's just a total waste of time, and I'll just get all the items I want off screen. I will tell you what the items are so you can go and get them yourself. Like see this, I, I just can't do this on screen because it just takes too long. But I'll show you the important item that you have to get to advance. And it's not this one, this is TM07 Hail which 
is in this area. Whenever you battle in this area, there's always hail, so you'll accept ice types everywhere. But here, you have to get HMO at rock climb, which is really, you need this HM to move on. But if you go into this house, and talk to this guy, he's like, oh, uh, he dropped an HM, it was rock climb, and he's like, hey, what's this, you found a new machine? So he gives, he just says, uh, to keep it and for honesty he gives us an icicle plate and the plate says the powers of plates are shared among Pokemon So that's another plate for Arceus or it raises ice type move, um, power of ice type moves. So the items that we can get in this area are um, You can I mean, I'm not gonna tell what the locations are because that's just gonna be stupid but you can grab a PP up a full heal a nugget iron and I'm gonna avoid the trainers there's a house here I'm looking for so a rare candy as you just saw uh, there's two irons here a protein ultra ball I'm not sure if the if the house is no the house is above an ultra ball the TMO 7 hail that we just got a max potion a max repel the rock climb icicle plate max revive okay so if you go into this house and talk to her. She's like, a person? A rare sight. Thank you for visiting. A gift. And you get the spell tag. Spell tag is an item if your Pokemon holds it, uh, it's less likely to... Uh, if your Pokemon, your first Pokemon in your party holds it, you're less likely to run into wild Pokemon. So, the interesting... If you talk to her again, she says, the spell tag... In, oh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. That was... That's a different tag. This is just powers of the ghost type moves, my bad. But the thing is, when you leave the house and go back in, He's gone. Kind of creepy, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, it's it's weird how she gives them um, an item that powers up ghost type um, moves, and then she just she just vanishes. It's kind of creepy. Okay, this rock here. If you remember the rock in Eternal uh, Eternal Forest, this rock helps it helps uh, Eevee evolve into Glaceon. It's similar to the one in Eternal City. If you just level up next to here, Eevee will evolve into Glaceon, and you cannot evolve Eevee into, um, into Espeon or Umbreon in this particular area. So I will come back and get all the items that are hidden here, but I just don't want to waste screen time because I, I'd like to carry on. This guy, I'm going to try and avoid him. Damn it. Didn't do a very good job because of the stupid snow. Alright, so Krog I believe he had a Krogon, Machoke, and a Riolu. Riolu is the Pokemon that Riley's egg Riley as in the, the trainer Riley, not Pokemon Riley, but Oh please don't make me require trainer. Damn it. Alright. Okay, so we're nearly there. I think we're done with all the trainers in this area. So, if you come over here, the hail will finally end, and we're here at the QED Lakefront. I think there's a hidden item right here. I really hate these snow uh, little things that you just sink inside. Is there an item here? Nope. Okay. So, when you're about to go here, there's Barry, and he's like, Hey, you finally came. Slow, slow. You can't climb these rocks until you get the Snow Point City's gym, so gym badge. So basically, we have to go beat Snow Point City gym, and because we already have rock climb, we can teach that to. Actually, I'm going to teach it to. I'll teach it to B Barrel right now. I was planning on. I was planning on teaching this uh, to maybe Jolteon because I really I uh, wanted to teach. B-Barrel something else, but for some reason Jolteon cannot learn it and I don't want to teach it to Blaze, so I'm just gonna go to my usual HM slave and just teach. Remove Hyper Fang, which is a really powerful move. AD power. Okay, so we have Rock Climb. This route is just a little connecting route. Uh, this, on this route, there's a really good Pokemon you can catch that is a Sneasel. It's a, it's a, it's 
a dark, it's a dark ice type, and it's really fast. Um, I like it, and it has a really good evolution in this. So here we are, Snow Point City. So it's this Snow Point City, City of Snow, and a point. I don't know. <laughs> Here you can grab an Ultra Ball. This play, this guy will come into use later on. A great tournament recognized with the Pokemon League. I look forward to carrying someone on that ship. So that's a little hint. Snow Point City isn't that big. There's only a couple important things here. There's the Pokemon Center. We'll go in there in a bit. Here's the Poke Mart. There are a couple hidden items inside the city itself. One really cool thing about this place is that there's a special feature in this game called diamond I think it was diamond dust here's a rare candy it's a little feature that only appears in uh, Dam 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 diamond pearl and platinum and heart gold soul silver at like certain times if you're, in, if you're at the tin tower in heart gold soul silver then you'll see diamond dust there or in snow point city only on certain days there are some okay so I guess let's this is a new move tutor for shards. If you see here, these are the moves that Pokemon can learn. Synthesis is a really good move, and pretty much that's the only good move I can I like over here. I'm Synthesis. That's all. So, Diamond Dust is. Uh, I know one date that it comes up on is the 21st of January because that's the that's the birthday of the creator. Not not original, not Satoshi Tajiri, but the other creator. Uh, here is the Snow Point Temple, but you can't go in there right now because we're not the chosen one, apparently. Okay, so the Diamond Dust is pretty much the because it's uh, on the birthday of the creator Junichi Masuda. He he posted a blog in like 2008 that turn on go to Snow Point City uh, on the January 12th, which is his birthday. This woman, she will trade you a Medicham for a Haunter. And I know you're getting all happy, ooh, a Haunter, we, if we trade it, we can get a Gengar, but no, that Haunter is holding an Everstone. I, if, I'm sh I'm pretty sure it's holding an Everstone. So, yeah, you can't really get a Gengar, because it's. A, I've tried it before, I, I've ran for him, and tried to get a, tried to get a Medicham to trade, and ended up with just a Haunter with a goddamn Everstone. So that's pretty much it about Snow Point City. There's not much to explore here. So, yeah, next time on. Uh, this part is a little short, sorry about that. But I guess next time on Pokemon Platinum, we'll be taking on the gym. I will beat all the all the trainers in there beforehand so you guys don't have to sit there and watch. So we'll be just doing just the gym leader. And yeah, Snow Point City gym leader Candice, the Diamond Dust Girl. So that's a little. Um, Easter egg thingy called for Diamond Dust. So, see you next time, guys. Peace out.